You might be wondering what all this lot's about, but well, basically... Hello, Gigi. Hi. Where are you going? There's a hole in my jeans, Gigi. I should fix that. So yeah, I've got a hole. I've got thread. I've got scissors. I've got pins. I've got all sorts of different fabrics. I've even got an entire bag of patchwork scraps to go through. So, since I've got this tear here, I thought what I'd do, rather than put a patch over it, I'm going to put the patch on the inside, stitch some sort of pattern around the tear so the fabric is nice and secure, and then I can hopefully open up these threads so the patch fabric shows through the hole as just something a little bit different. It's a baggy old pair of jeans, doesn't need to look fancy. So the next question is, which bit of fabric? I could keep it pretty much blue, just have a lighter bit of blue showing through the jeans. Uh, let's put the jeans here. So just a slightly brighter patch of blue, mm, could be nice. Let's see what else we've got. There's the darker option. Lots of greyish blues. Uh, nah. Teal? Plain colour? Uh, that's a bit boring. I mean, why go plain when you've got all the fun patterns? Ooh, I could have a really bright green. Nah. Creamy swirls? Nah. <gasps> Ooh. I think these are all narrow strips which is not ideal, even though the colours are pretty. Ooh, purple bit. Hmm, I do probably want a bigger bit than this little triangle. That's a bit pink for my liking. Bland. Just orange? This is kind of cool, but you wouldn't see much of it through the hole as it is. Ooh, red. <laughs> Bright flash of red could be fun. Ooh, a bit more of that. Green and dot. Nah. Bland, beigey bit. And then teeny tiny bits. Not even big enough to cover the patch. Tiny little squares left over from something or other. I think whichever I go for, it's going to be fairly subtle, really. Part of me does want to go for the luminous green. Burn is only a small piece, whereas the advantage of the blue is I could put it all along the crease where the fabric has obviously worn more, which means even if it tears more I can have the fabric already underneath, which is probably a good idea. What about the green bit? Eh, it's a bit dark. You know I might just go with the blue. Go with the first one I looked at on the pile. Of course. That is the way of these things. So now I'm looking at which bit of the pattern I want to show through. Because if I just did from there to there, basically this somewhat subtler patch would be what shows through. But I quite like the idea of having the stronger colour against the lighter background. So I probably want to cut from there to there so this area is where the hole is. Bondering. Okay, let's just go with the cut it out and see where we end up plan. Using this section. The rest goes back in the patchwork supplies basket. I think it might be simplest if I sew it in, then trim the edges on the inside. Because I can turn this inside out and get at the back easily enough. That way, I leave myself plenty of patchwork fabric to work with. So let's get some pins. Oh wait, helps if I actually put the patch in the right place. Only a little bit fiddly working inside a trouser leg. Now, of course, I need to make sure I don't pin the back of the trouser leg as well, because sewing the leg closed is not part of the plan. So, I'm just putting in enough pins to hold the patch in place doing my best to keep patch and jeans fairly straight and not bunched up. Okay, that sits pretty flat. Next step, 
choose which thread I want to use. I've got my little carry case stuffed full of embroidery threads here. I've got lots of greens. Maybe something a bit blue-green would work. That one's a bit dark. Hmm. There's a slightly desaturated green. Kind of matches the washed out blue of the jeans. What other colours do I have? Yellows and creams. Blues and purples. Gold. Reds. Some slightly shiny browns. I think I want to go with a blue. Maybe this brighter tone to match the patch fabric. Maybe the paler blue. Or I could go with the one that changes colour as it goes. That could be more exciting. Hmm. Rolling out the green, I think. And I'm not really too fond of that shade. Yeah, let's go multicoloured. Oop, grab the needles. There they are. Now, I don't think I want to use the full thickness of this thread. I can probably get away with halving it. So we'll cut ourselves a length. That looks about right. And then, one of the nice things about these embroidery threads is that it's usually pretty easy to divide the strands. So this is a six strand thread, or floss, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to divide it into two three strand pieces, somewhat clumsily. But you can just gently untwist it all the way down, and then the two pieces will retwist themselves for the most part. They'll probably bunch up a bit, but you can generally straighten them out without much hassle if you didn't cut too long a piece. Fiddly needle threading. Come on. There we go. Right, pick a place to start. And I'm just going to make several small stitches. Just through the patchwork fabric, not the jeans. Pulling the thread most of the way through. And then making a couple more stitches in the same place. You can tuck the end under the loops. And that kind of anchors the thread in place. Now, I do not sew for a living. This is just a thing I learned to do somewhere along the line instead of tying a knot. And possibly it's not the best tactic for the situation, but it seems to work for me, so it's what I'm gonna do. Now I'll pass the needle through to the front. And uh, my plan is to just spiral outwards from the hole with a running stitch, basically. Nothing super fancy. Just hoping the rings of stitches will do the job and look vaguely interesting in the end. And off we go! So I'm reaching the end of this piece of thread and I'm thinking it might be nice to trail off with a little mini spiral or something, rather than just continuing the big spiral. Something like that. Little dinky spiral. And then we go to the back and we finish off with a few stitches through just the patchwork fabric again. Although it's going to be tricky as I didn't leave myself much thread to work with. 
bit tight, but hopefully that just means the thread will be fairly secure. Now we'll just trim the end off with the overkill scissors since I haven't got my little snips to hand. Right, where have we got to? We've got a random spirally thing. We shall live dangerously and cut away these cross threads from the jeans, hoping that we don't regret doing so. Struggle to pick up all the inevitable little bits of thread. Briefly admire our um, fashionably torn jeans. Is, is that what I've got now? Hmm. Eh, let's trim the edge of the hole a bit more. I mean, it's a scruffy old pair of jeans. If this doesn't work out and it all falls apart, then eh, I guess I'll just have to come back and put a big patch over the top. Eh, bits of fluff all over the place. Now, I still have a second length of thread. So I'm thinking I might put in a couple more spirals just to make it less of a weird die shape thing on my jeans. Trim. Yep, let's do that. Really patch thing. I've trimmed down the fabric on the inside. Uh, now this is just cotton. It's probably going to fray. And well, I'm just hoping the shape and stitching means it won't be too much of a problem. Eh, we'll see. As long as it lasts long enough for me to lose the weight to fit into my new jeans, then it's fine. Better try them on. What do you reckon, Gigi? I fixed the jeans. Well, the jeans. No more hole. Just a swirly bit. <coughs> Mao? Is that an approving Mao? Or just a hey I'm hungry and I'm gonna kill this piece of paper Mao? A little bit of everything, okay. Well, I'd call that a success for now. Well, I'm not sure if DJ agrees. And that's that. This was a bit of a spontaneous textile adventure, so thank you for watching. See you next time. What, you, what are you doing? You've got it. Uh huh. Biscuit. Biscuit.